starting with my number three, it is all about Terrafosa Blombay. Now, most of you know that we have traveled to the country of Suriname in the year 2016, but without the aim to document these creatures on videotape. We were just photographing and taking pictures of various different spider species, but for this very tarantula species, we do have a video and it was actually the very first one on this channel. So starting with Terrafosa blondi, it is one of the most iconic tarantulas for a lot of people out there and it is also for us. So Terrafosa blondi, the genus type for the whole genus Terrafosa, is among with Terrafosa apophysis and the newer described Terrafosa stermi belongs definitely to the most heavyweight tarantulas who roam the earth. So on our trip to Suriname in 2016, we rented a small car and drove all the way from the city of Paramaribo to the southern region uphill where there is a natural reserve. And in this very natural reserve, you see the roads are extremely dangerous to drive by and it was not the best idea to actually use a car like the one we've rented. We should have gone with a um, 4x4 wheel or anything, but yeah, we did work it out and managed it to the top. But then we stayed a couple of days and nights, but we did not find any Terrafosa blondi. It was so hard to find burrows in this yeah pristine rainforest, um, but yeah, actually not a single evidence that there is anything present regarding Terrafosa blondi. And after our last day uphill, we decided that we have to leave the place. We drove all the way back and on our way back from the car we spotted one of the burrows which quite yeah most possible would suit a Terrafosa blondi specimen very well and luckily yeah we managed to find one so we documented this on our mobile phones uh, the whole scenario on how this burrow actually looks like and also the clay like structure uh, the whole substrate is about so we can gather a lot of details for our captivity projects with this very species. So Terrafosa blondi, one of the most iconic tarantulas and definitely one of the most iconic ones for us. We did manage to find a huge adult female which was also freshly molted and we were able to take awesome pictures of this very species. So Terrafosa blondi, my number three. Since you now know my number three favorite tarantulas of these giant New World tarantulas, make sure you pause the video real quick and leave a comment down below and comment your favorite New World gigantic tarantula and maybe leave a comment on why it is the case. Would be great to hear your opinion and uh, let's have a talk and chat down below in the comment section. So my number two of the New World gigantic tarantulas would be the Frixotrichos vulpinus we found and documented in the year of 2018 in Chile. It was an amazing adventure we had and a great time in Chile for over three weeks in total and we managed to find this magnificent tarantula in the southern region of Chile where the climate is about the same as in Europe, especially during summer temperatures. So this Frixotrichos vulpinus is not only extremely colorful, but it is also gigantic in size. It is definitely one of the most and biggest tarantulas we found during our trip in Chile. Sadly, this tarantula is not available in captivity, but that not because it has never been imported, but because it is, yeah, looks like it's not possible to keep them alive in captivity. So any new imports which are coming, yeah, actually have the same output. So since this Frixotrichos vulpinus is not present in the hobby, it was a first time for us to see it in our lifetime. It was not possible to see them in some terrariums or enclosures at our friend's place in Europe, but just in the wild. And this Frixotrichos vulpinus is an amazing looking tarantula. You see their coloration is unique among all tarantulas. They have these two urticating hair patches on the abdomen, which is not unique uh, in the whole tarantula world, but with the discoloration and these amazing, yeah, little finesse of hair and different striking of the hairs and the airflow, it just looks amazing. And the coloration is indeed very special since every single specimen did look a little bit different than the other ones. 
and that's why you can't really use coloration as a feature for different species. So this very species of tarantula we found in Chile, yeah, simply different in coloration. We managed to find a lot of various different tarantulas in the same habitat, in the same region, and also in the very same park, which do not resemble each other quite frankly, to be honest. So they have a great diversity in the looks of it. And we also managed to find adult males, which are way lighter in coloration. And due to the fact we found both male and female in the very same place, we were able to mate them in nature and get some amazing footage, which was never documented before. So Frixotrichus vulpinus, certainly my number two on these new world gigantic tarantulas we managed to find in the wild. So for all of you guys who are new here on this channel, Birds by the CH is a project. Uh, we're documenting tarantulas for over 10 years in nature and also present this information picture, data and video wise on our website, it's Birds by the CH. And there is also a pro section under pro.birdspider.ch where you can get a little bit more information about our field trips and also support us on the way that it will help continue growing this very project. It will mean a lot to us if you go and check it out. And yeah, continue watching. So let's head over to our number one. So our number one of these New World Tarantulas, which reach gigantic sizes, it is Megalvobema robustum. And here also comes the new information and video footage we've not shown before on this channel. So Megafobema robustum. So in 2019, we were able to document Megafobema robustum on our way to Colombia. And there looked specifically for this very species with some advice from a friend of us. And we managed to find adult specimens of this very species in this lowland region of Colombia itself. So Megafobema robustum certainly differs from other members of the genus Megafobema by their yeah, special behavior when you really disturb them. So their defensive mechanism is unique. Uh, they kind of stand still for a while and appear that they put their abdomen up in the air, but it's not like in Thrixopelma or Aotlo species. It's more erratic, these erratic movements and that the fact that they are not moving around at all sometime, it's just unique. And Megafobema robustum actually has been very well studied in the past. And there has also been research done on their urticating hairs, which they incorporate in their egg sac, make it more waterproof and also proof against forid fly larvae, so that they actually can't really get into the egg sacs. So it is an amazing species, which we were able to document in nature. And it was just an amazing experience for us that we managed to see this very species in the wild. Megafobema robustum, one of the species I haven't kept in captivity like forever, but probably could consider doing it so. And maybe in one of the free tanks I have behind, I get a captive bred specimens because this is also a nice feature that they are able to breed in captivity. And from time to time, you get available yeah, spiderlings from this very species. So that certainly make it a great pet for you as a tarantula lover. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure you leave a thumbs up or thumbs down, depending on how much you like this video. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell icon. It would mean a lot to us and help us grow this very project, show you some more tarantulas and hopefully in the near future, give you some more field trip videos of tarantulas in the wild of some we've never seen before and probably you guys also have never been seen before. So thanks again for watching and see you guys soon.